we're out here today, Dalton Fire Department, we're doing our daily training and today is doing relay operations between the engine and the tower ladder and to also put the truck in positions that they uh, need to really focus on power lines, placement, because that's what's going to happen in real life. So going out in an open field doesn't serve justice. So in reality, if we're having a defensive fire, we got to be able to put the truck in positions to be able to mitigate the incident without getting the fireman hurt. So today we're focusing on water supply, getting the proper pressures. And right now, as you can see, that master stream on the tower ladder, it's, we, can, we can get up to 2,000 gallons per minute coming out of this truck if we have a fully involved commercial dwelling. So that's what the guys are practicing today. I don't know, you tell me. Engineer Bergeron, tell me how to make sure that the bucket is good. So right now, as you can see here, the hose was hooked up. The engine, and we'll walk that way in a second, was tied into the hydrant. And then at that point, the engineer had to get the proper pressure. That's why it's so important to have quality trained professional uh, trained engineers to be able to flow the truck and get the proper pressure to get the proper water flow in order to meet the BTUs to mitigate the incident. So everything's set up strategically with our vehicles. We've got this uh, pony length here so when we get tied close to a hydrant we don't have to pull out the 100 foot lengths of uh, the 5 inch off the back. we got a 5 inch soft sleeve so we can get as close as possible in order to reduce the time to get water on the fire so we can minimize pulling off the hose line by getting a positive water supply with the hydrants. That's why it's so important that we go out, we test these hydrants annually, and then pass that information on to get them fixed. So that way we can uh, do our job effectively and efficiently. This is Captain Brim, Dalton Fire. I'm riding today doing some training exercises, some daily training exercises with our engine and our truck company. Uh, we train every day. Uh, we have objectives um, through an app. Uh, just download it through the state fire marshal's office so we can stay up on our skills, meet our OSHA and IDOL requirements, and uh, just basically stay ready. Stay ready for anything that comes. Keep our uh, rigs in good maintenance and good working order, and make sure that uh, when those tones drop, we're ready for whatever situation that comes.